Little Nas X is a rapper who many of you will be familiar with, and that is a good thing for the most part. Because he started his career by going and making the song Old Town Road that exploded in popularity for all of the right reasons. At least the witch was bringing back Billy Ray Cyrus for the remix, just saying. But then afterward, he only occasionally made waves with his song. And that's when things got weird. Because after a while, he started doing things that got people's attention in other ways. And it is very eye-opening to so allow us to show you the dark side of Little Nas X. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. The Shoes so let's start off by doing the event that everyone is still talking about for reasons that are honestly quite understandable. Little Nas X launched a controversial pair of Satan shoes featuring a bronze pentagram, an inverted cross, and a drop of real human blood. And they sold out almost immediately. The black and red sneakers are part of a collaboration between Little Nas X and New York-based art collective Mischief, and they were made using Nike Air Max 97s though the sportswear brand has distanced itself from the design. In an emailed statement to CNN, Nike said it was not involved in creating the modified sneakers. We do not have a relationship with Lil Nas or Mischief, the company said. Nike did not design or release these shoes, and we do not endorse them. Mischief confirmed via email on March 29th that the limited edition drop of 666 pairs sold out in less than a minute. Though Little Nas X will keep the first pair, Mischief Creator Director Kevin Wisner told CNN. They were priced at $1,018 a pair, a reference to the Bible passage, Luke 10.18, that reads, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Each shoe's air bubble sole contains 60 cubic centimeters of red ink and one drop of human blood, according to Mischief. A Mischief spokesperson said the blood has been provided by members of the art collective, adding, We love to sacrifice for our art. Later, Wisner explained on a video call that the creative team collected individual drops of the course of a week using the same type of needle used in at-home glucose tests. The group also confirmed to CNN that Nike was not involved in this in any capacity. Which is not that surprising. Can you blame them for not wanting to be associated with shoes that technically are satanic in nature? And if the shoes were bad, then the reactions to them were even more chaotic. Number 4. Reaction The shoes sparked outrage online over the weekend that they were announced and attracted criticism from a number of high-profile political and religious figures, including South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem and the evangelical pastor Mark Burns. The latter described the sneakers in a tweet as evil and heresy. Some fans of the Old Town Road rapper, meanwhile, tweeted their support and desire to own a pair. In response, Little Nas X, whose real name is Montero Lamar Hill, posted a video to his official YouTube account titled, Little Nas X Apologizes for Satan Shoe, which has now been viewed over 1.8 million times. But after a few seconds, the apparent apology cuts to a scene from his new music video, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, showing him dancing provocatively with a devil character. The rapper is then pictured snapping the devil's neck before removing his horned crown and assuming it himself. Now, the day after Lil Nas X released the music video, he responded to the backlash over its rebellious religious imagery. I spent my entire teenage years hating myself because of the shit y'all preached would happen to me because I was gay, he wrote. So I hope you are mad. Stay mad. Feel the same anger you teach to us to have towards ourselves. The collective Little Nas X worked with on the Satan's Shoe Mischief is known for its irreverent drops, a series of tongue-in-cheek art projects unveiled once every two weeks. In 2019, the collective released limited edition Jesus Shoes, also made from the Nike Air Max 97 sneakers, which featured a steel crucifix and holy water sourced from the Jordan River. Other drops have seen the collective sell a laptop installed with some of the world's most dangerous computer viruses for over $1.3 million. In February, meanwhile, the group ripped apart four Hermes Birkin bags in order to create a collection of sandals priced between $34,000 and $76,000. We all knew that some would take this Satan element seriously, but I'm not sure we were entirely prepared for how much of a fur it would cause, Weisner said. Obviously, from our perspective, it's just fun, right? There's a really rich wealth of symbolism to work with, but some people have been very up in arms with it. He referenced one YouTuber, Michael J. Mitchell, on the account A Sneaker Life, 
who first did an unboxing video, then posted a follow-up video called the I Threw the Nike Satan Shoes Away. He did so, Weisner said, because his fans had reacted so poorly to the concept, which is extremely funny. In the 8-minute video, Mitchell announces he is getting rid of the sneakers before tossing them down the trash chute in his apartment building. He shows them in the box before they make their descent. I'm throwing them away, bro. Straight up. I'm not keeping this energy around me whatsoever, he said. Everybody, just relax, bro. I am a man of God. Number 3. What This Shows Some might be confused about why some of these things are a dark side to Lil Nas X, but it honestly has to do with his desire and willingness to go beyond what you might call typical behaviors in order to get a response. To be clear, what he did was not illegal, and you can't really argue that it was wrong, as it was just a case of artistic expression, and trust us when we say musicians have done far, far worse than Little Nas X. But you could definitely argue that some of the things he's done recently were not in good taste, and that even though he did things despite people, such as Christians who bashed him for being gay and others in the LGBTQ community. Him speaking out on the anti-LGBTQ crowd is not a bad thing. Doing it with devil shoes and a lap dancing devil in a music video could be done with a bit more tact. Number 2. The Old Town Road Controversy While not a dark side of Little Nas X per se, we do need to discuss how sometimes he brings out the dark side in others, which was perfectly shown when Old Town Road came out. The song started out on the list as number 83, which you wouldn't expect given the crazy numbers, but as the hype build, it did make its way to number 1. And because of its mixing styles, it went to a bunch of other charts as well, including the country billboard chart. However, it was taken down just as quickly because of a technicality. Now, upon further review, it was determined that Old Town Road by Little Nas X does not currently merit inclusion on Billboard's country charts. When determining genres, a few factors are examined, but first and foremost is musical composition. While Old Town Road incorporates references to country and cowboy imagery, it does not embrace enough elements of today's country music to chart in its current version. Now, this caused a lot of anger in a lot of people, because that was basically saying, if you don't meet very specific criteria of what a genre is, you're not in the genre. And anyone who listens to Old Town Road will say it is a country song including getting support from current country music singers. But the Billboard has stood firm in its decision. Determining which chart a song lives on is an ongoing process that depends on a number of factors, most notably the song's musical composition, but also how the song is marketed and promoted, the musical history of the artist, airplay the song receives, and how the song is platformed on streaming services. Billboard welcomes the excitement created by genre-blending tracks such as Lil Nas X's Old Town Road, and will continue to monitor how it is marketed and how fans respond. That was just low and people knew it. Little Nas X took it in stride, but it definitely showed a dark side to the industry itself. Number 1. What's next for him? So given all of this and the controversies that are still going on, the real question here is, what's next? That question is not easy to answer at all for the simple reason that Little Nas X has proven that he's honestly very unpredictable. No one expected these shoes, no one expected that music video, no one expected the religious and even political communities to be in an uproar over it, but it happened. So if you want to know what's next, you honestly need to go and ask Little Nas X. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the events that Little Nas X has done that has gotten people to talk about him both in good and bad ways? Are you shocked that Little Nas X has become a very polarizing figure in his young career? What do you think of everything going on with Montero in the Nike shoes? What do you think he'll go and do next? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on the channel.